I just spent a good 30 seconds trying to find the autofocus button on this camera. It's been a while, boys, it's been a while. Hello and welcome back to JJ Loves Fighting. It's been a hot minute, it's been a hot minute. It's been a while, I've been dead for a few months, but I'm back and hopefully we'll be bringing you lots of more consistent videos. So today we're gonna to be looking at how I like to land an effective one-two on an opponent. As the title states, Anthony Joshua, Dustin Poirier, Max Holloway, Kevin Holland, they all throw a one-two in the same sort of style that I'm gonna be demonstrating today. Let's go. Oh, it's cold. It's cold! Alright, I left my gloves in the house and I can't be asked to go back in, so you know what? I'm just gonna have to use bare knuckle in this video. If I break my hand, it's your fault. It's not your fault. I'm the one doing the video. So, to put it quite simply, I like to throw a 1-2 with relaxed arms and very, very minimal effort. Because I've got lanky arms because I'm an orangutan, I like to use the full extension of my arm, the full length of it, relax my arms, relax my shoulders and just throw them out like this. That sort of style. I ain't got the perfect technique, so don't don't slate me in the comments. You can slate me in the comments, who cares? From here, I like to just get my range and then just throw them out with no wind up. Yeah, that makes sense. Hopefully. I've actually got proof of this working for myself in a boxing fight that I had last year. My dad's in the corner going, bop, 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 just relax. And the message I get from that is relax your arms and throw them out. I did that immediately, cracked this kid four times on the chin and dropped him immediately. I mean, it works. I am living proof that it works. The most important thing I find with this is just don't be tense. Don't throw your arms like this, don't be tense. Because as soon as you're tense, there's no power. Well, there's very little power. If you're a big, strong dude, then you might still have a little bit, but the idea is to keep those arms relaxed, keep them loose. I'm feeling loose, do same when I'm in copyright. You'll find the looser your arms are as well, the faster they are. The speed is a lot higher when you're relaxed, when you're loose, when your shoulders aren't up here. I used to hit pads like this a lot. <laughs> and I never noticed it, and one day my dad was like, your shoulders are up by your ears, stick them down. And then all of a sudden, boom! There you go, look at that. Hey, you're knocking people down left, right, and centre. Woo! This is hurting my knuckles. I'm gonna have to nick my dad's gloves. Dad, I'm sorry. <laughs> you see that? You see that? I'm gassing myself up. What am I doing? It's one of them where you have to think about it. If you don't think about it, you'll often bring your shoulders up, especially in competition when you're tense. As I said earlier, I didn't do it until my corner told me to. This relaxed arm style with the straights, it can work with the straights on their own. If I'm just throwing a jab and I'm relaxed, it's fast, yeah? Take your head off to the side a bit. If you watch Davison Figueredo versus Brandon Moreno at the weekend, Figueredo likes to throw his jab from down here and he snaps it out like this. His hands down by his hip and he just goes pop like that. It's unbelievable, it's so fast and snappy and hard. Four ounce gloves. I don't know how Moreno took those shots. Those two are tough Donnies. They really are. See how I'm throwing a few feints as well? With that jab especially, it works to throw a few feints. Just get a bit of a tension reaction out of your opponent. Just a little feint. I'm not the best with the feints, but good enough. You can slip with it as well. So if I'm slipping this way, I mean, it's a very rare thing to slip and then throw a jab as a counter, but with it being a rare thing, that's maybe one of the more reasons you should throw it. Here, boom. Because I've got long arms, it's effective. And then the same thing goes for the straight right. There's no wind up with this. I'm not trying to pull it back and then I'm just throwing it straight from the shoulder. I brought up Kevin Holland earlier at the start of the video because he knocked out Joaquin, Joaquin, Joaquin Buckley with this shot. And it was like that, snapped it out from his shoulder, one straight right hand, Buckley went down and that was it, over. That was from that sort of theory with the shoulder. Bang, snap. This shot is perfect after a slip or a pullback. You're here loading up that shot, bang. It just works so well, especially off an opponent's shot. If they're throwing a wild hook or a jab or something and it's wild, and they miss, bang. Or my personal favorite, pull back, pop. Just like that. Max Holloway's amazing at this. Pulls back, pop, pop, that's another good one. Pull back, jab, cross. You're making your opponent miss, pull back, pop, pop. If you can snap your shots out in this sort of way after a pull back, it's great, it works so well. Another good one is the double straight right. Dustin Poirier does this, but as a left. Poirier being a southpaw, me being orthodox, my rear hand, my cross punch, is the right hand, Poirier's is the left, but he throws it as a double or a triple or quadruple. He throws a sequence of cross punches over and over, and you can do that with that snap theory. 
I can't even do it. I, I can't do it. <laughs> Target's missing. Yeah, I'm not as experienced with that one, but as you see from Poirier with his finishes over Gaethje, Alvarez, and a ton of other world-class fighters, it's clearly very effective. Anyways, that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy, and I hope you're happy to see me back. I'm trying to get into a regular schedule of uploading. I'll be doing more tutorial videos. I'll be doing a couple of other little something somethings here and there that you will see on the channel, I promise. Thank you to everyone who's continued to subscribe since I've been gone. I've, it's been mad to see that people are still subscribing and watching my content, even while I've not been uploading consistently, but I do appreciate it, thank you very much. Please. Let me know anything you want me to teach down in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Joe, you've been you, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.